Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Today I just wanted to give you a quick update on my sewer hose system that I installed. It must be three years ago I did the mod. I've had the hose now for four years. This is the Wastemaster hose. Uh, um, back four years ago, Lippard sent one out for review and I reviewed it. And then uh, uh, about a month later, I was contacted by the original designer of the hose, Doug from Drain Master in Hollister. And he said um, his he envisioned the hose to always be hooked up. So I ended up doing a mod about three years ago and installed the storage box there. So I'll link to those posts in the in the description. But I just wanted to update you on, on how I use this thing. Um, I don't think I've ever uh, done a demo where I showed me using it at a dump station. So um, on the way through California here, we stopped at a rest stop and I got Ann to film me uh, dumping our tanks just to show you how easy it is. One of the reasons I wanted it hooked up like this is because we use dump stations mostly most of the time. Um, I think we're at 34 stops this snowbird trip and we've only had five where we actually were in a park where we had a had a sewer hole. The rest of the time we've had to go and dump like at state park dump stations or after boondocking or if we stopped at a casino or something. So we use dump stations a lot so I like the, the convenience of this setup where it's always hooked up. So let's get to the footage. Oh, also I have electric valves installed, which I did not too long ago, and I really like those too. It makes it easy. I don't have to, to pull on the handles. I just push the button. There you go, easy peasy, eh? So uh, I've also been asked what happens if if you're in a, in a in a place where the hose won't reach. Now this thing it goes pretty far. I can pull this this out, and it stretches out somewhere pretty close to 20 feet. I can get out of this. So there's not too many spots that I can't get to. But uh, when I do get to a spot. I have a second hose here, an extension hose, and it pulls out the same distance, so I can get almost 40 feet of hose, so that's never a problem. Yeah, I've only had about maybe three times a year where I need to hook up my extension. So all I do, I'll show you underneath here. I just have to unhook from right right there. There's a, the, the clamps there on the fitting and that pops out and then I connect my extension hose and then I have a coupler here. So it's been a really good system for me. You know, it's not cheap stuff, 
the hoses and that they're over a hundred dollars each uh, and, and the box and mounting took took a bit to mod but I'm uh, on my fourth year with the hose now and it's still working fine no problems no leaks so I'm quite happy with it anyway just thought I'd update you on that till next time Ray from loveyourrv.com thanks for watching folks looking pretty nice here in California we had a lot of rain in the winter I'm told it sure has greened up the countryside gotta love it nice change after all that uh, brown dusty desert